The enteric nervous system is the entire nervous system that exists within the GI tract, and the GI tract is the gut. So as soon as everyone swallows a piece of food and you no longer have to think about it anymore, your enteric nervous system kicks in and helps to move the food from your esophagus all the way down into your stomach, through your stomach, through your intestine and out the other end. And it's a complex process and it's important to understand how it forms during development. The enteric nervous system forms during very early development and it's difficult to see this. We use the freshwater fish zebrafish in order to understand this because those embryos are born outside of the mother. They develop externally in water and it's very easy to see their enteric nervous systems forming. Big part of our lab is looking at some cellular mechanisms and molecular things. We use a lot of really big and cool technology. We have things like the vast imaging, which is this robotic imager that really allows us to automate things. We have optogenetics, which allow us to overexpress genes with just the power of light. And then we have our microscope suite, things like our confocal microscope that really allow us to image and view these processes at the cellular and molecular level. I think the biggest thing that's most interesting to me about this process and studying development and biosciences and uh, the enteric nervous system is that it's not well studied and it all happens during any diseases that develop from it happening during development. So in utero, while the mother is gestating their child, diseases can arise that we aren't able to study. So we use the zebrafish to be able to study this because they develop outside and we can translate into ways to potentially better understand how congenital birth defects of the gut form and how we can potentially treat them later. So there has been uh, relatively less attention paid to the nerves within the gut, but as time goes by, it becomes evident that a lot of uh, diseases affect uh, not only the adult enteric nervous system, but also the pediatric or the children's um, enteric nervous system. And so if we could come up with better ways of understanding how this, the neural crest cells transform into the enteric nervous system from a basic standpoint, that will help us to, to you know, design therapeutic strategies for human regeneration research and for uh, medicinal purposes.